Even a hundred thousand years ago, there were four or five different kinds of humans around on the earth. I would call them different species. And yet we're the only ones now. So why is that? Of course, people have different ideas about that, that Homo sapiens was vastly superior. And as we spread out, we simply replaced all these other species. 20 years ago, I would have said there was a big behavioral gulf between Homo sapiens and Neanderthals, that we were superior to Neanderthals. And I think there's enough evidence now that the gap has considerably closed between us and Neanderthals. But if you're gonna survive, you have to have enough population numbers, you have to have enough genetic diversity to see you through crises. Explaining the disappearance is not gonna be due to a single cause, I don't think. Some people think language was important, and indeed we could have had a more complex language system than the Neanderthals had. I'm sure they could talk, I'm sure they had language, their lives are complex, but perhaps our language was at another level of complexity, of abstraction, of vocabulary, thinking about the deep past, thinking about the distant future, having imaginary worlds in our, in our language. And also I think there was economic competition. So of course, when we entered the territories of the Neanderthals, we're gonna be hunting the same sorts of animals, collecting the same sorts of plant resources, wanting to live in the best areas, the best cave sites, and so on. In their last 20,000 years, Neanderthals in Europe were probably low in numbers and low in diversity. And that was nothing to do with Homo sapiens. Things like climate change affected them. And I think it had eroded a lot of their population diversity and numbers. And so they were already in some ways perhaps a threatened species. And in that case, it wouldn't take much. A competing species collecting the same sorts of resources um, and eventually becoming successful. But of course, as we expand it, we've got to talk about why Denisovans disappeared, why Homo floresiensis, the so-called hobbit, disappeared, Homo luzonensis in the Philippines, uh, perhaps Homo erectus even was still around, and they all disappeared. So it isn't even down to just us and Neanderthals. If we need a more global explanation for why we're the last ones, I think luck is certainly part of it, developing complexity of culture in terms of our ability to use that to quickly adapt to different environments, to get into the deserts, to get into the rainforests where some of these earlier species couldn't penetrate. And also this light build we have in the skeleton, compared with these earlier species who were much more muscular, they've got a, a larger physiological load. They probably were more demanding of the environment in terms of the calories. And that means that in any given environment, actually you can support less people. In our case, our Sophisticated culture and technology literally takes our, the weight off our skeletons and muscles in terms of the amount of work they have to do. And that enables us to have greater numbers in any given environment. So there was not a sudden thing which gave us our success, but I think it was cumulative. Those other species, they were successful for hundreds of thousands of years. Um, they were certainly capable, but in the end, it wasn't enough to guarantee them uh, evolutionary success and survival.